So that's what I'm going to be showing you today, and I just spat at the camera. Hey guys, it's Lisa. In the last video, I asked you guys if you'd rather see a Lush haul or a What's in My Backpack, and a lot of you guys said that you want to see a Lush haul, so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Before we get started, let's try and get this video to uh, 200 likes, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. The button will be down below, as well as at the end of the video. But without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I got from Lush is this Tree Tree Water, and it is a toner water. And if you watched our last video, I actually like to keep this in my bag because I like to spray this on my face throughout the day. On here it says it's beneficial for anyone with oily or spot prone skin. So tea tree oil is really great for your skin. The next product that I got is a repurchase and it is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. And this is probably my favorite product from Lush. It works so amazingly well. What's really cool about this product is that you kind of use it like a hair conditioner where you put this on before you get out of the shower and then you rinse it off and it just leaves your skin feeling super moisturized. A lot of people say that this smells like roses but in my opinion I think it smells more like honey. But either way it still smells amazing and I definitely recommend trying this out. The next product that I have is Lush's Ocean Salt and this is probably one of Lush's top selling products. It's a face and body scrub and they describe it as a coarse and fine sea salt scrub with organic lime juice to brighten and avocado butter to soften. And I have really dry arms and legs so I like to use this in the shower to exfoliate and it works really well and it smells great. I really like this product because it is also blue on the inside so that's really cool. The next two things I got from Lush are really unique and they are these shampoo bars. According to Lush's website, these shampoo bars last for 80 uses. That's a lot for a tiny shampoo bar. So this one is scenic and I'm going to read from the website what this one does. It says that it's a solid seaweed shampoo bar for shine and body. So it softens tangled locks and adds oceans of shine with this mineral rich sea salt volumizing shampoo bar. I use this shampoo bar about once a week as a clarifying shampoo and it definitely smells like the ocean. The second one that I have is called Jumping Juniper. So this one it says herbal hair magic to transform oily hair. It cleans away grease and balances sebum production for soft shiny hair. I use this bar pretty often since I have pretty greasy hair so I definitely recommend this if you have greasy hair. The next product that I have is Lush's Turkey Turkish Delight. I've never actually tried the dessert Turkish Delight, but apparently this is what it smells like. But I guess I would describe this as smelling straight up like roses. This is described as a shower smoothie, but I'm not really sure what a shower smoothie is, so I would describe this as a moisturizing body wash. And although it smells nice, I wouldn't recommend this. The final product that I have is Lush's Celebrate and this is a hand and body lotion and I believe this was actually limited edition so I don't think you can get this anymore. This is described as Cure Winter Blues with a rich and creamy cocktail of almond oil, cacao butter, and cheerful citrus oils. This is definitely a citrusy smelling lotion. It kind of smells like orange soda and I really like this since it's super moisturizing and I do recommend this but since it's limited edition you can't get it anymore but if they do bring it back again I would definitely recommend trying this out. So that was my Lush haul. If you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment down below telling me what is your favorite Lush product and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!